So I'm sure everyone remembers the situation between Yao Man and Dreams in Fiji. Dreams, think you can handle this truck? You wouldn't believe what I do for a truck like that. In case you don't, Yao Man made a deal with Dreams that he would give up reward and a car since Dreams is the only player in a game without a car back home. Dreams, how badly do you need that car? You know how bad I need a car, Yao Man? I'm the only one out here without a car. I'm talking about without everybody here. Okay. The catch is that Dreams needs to give up immunity at the final four if he happens to win. When there are four of us left, if you and I happen to be one of four, if that happens, if you win the immunity for that round, you'll give it to me. I promise the God. Surprise, surprise, but after seeing this moment in the series, a couple episodes later, this exactly pans out. It comes down to Yao Man and Dreams for immunity at Final Four, and Dreams scrapes out the win. Dreams then goes back on his word and takes out Yao Man. He's basically torn apart by the jury and audience, who treats him like the devil for betraying the sweet Yao Man. And I hope that one day you will be a strong Christian man and be able to tell the devil, dangle all the money you want in front of me, this Christian is not for sale. While this video won't be portraying Yao Man in a particularly good light, I don't want people to be hating on him. He seemed like a guy who nearly the whole time showed himself to be very kind and have a great personality. And he was very fun to root for. There are so many immunity idols running around here. He hasn't had a great 2021 so far and posted that he had a mild heart attack at the beginning of the year. Even then, he took it as an opportunity to remind people to take chest pain and tightness seriously and go to the ER if you notice any problems. That there shows that he's a good person, and I totally understand why he was considered a favorite. From Survivor Fiji. The situation that I will be discussing involved young men making a strategic move that took advantage of another person's real life situation. Although it's uncomfortable to watch, and was a move that went beyond the confines of a game, I want everyone watching this video to spread positivity and not talk badly about young men. There doesn't seem to be any bad blood between the two players now, and I don't want to be starting that. This video is more aiming to analyze the situation that happened on Survivor and clear up any misconceptions so us and other viewers can learn from it. Now watching this season back in 2007, I was still in primary school and I fully jumped on board with the story that was shown to the viewers in the edit. Big question is now, whether or not you'll keep your word. It should be an interesting afternoon back at camp. The story shows Dreams portraying a nice man who did him a favor by giving him a car. Dreams made the situation worse for himself by constantly talking about how bad he would look if he went back on his word. People knowing that I'm really who I say I am. I am an honorable person. I am noble. I am a truth teller. I am Dreams. He seemed to go back and forth on his decision all up until the final moment. And I really think that made people dislike him even more. If he had just said he wasn't going to keep his word in the first place, people wouldn't have been so upset with him. The way it played out on TV ended up with Dreams being a losing finalist who people disliked. Personally, I really don't think Dreams is treated fairly throughout this whole situation and Dreams' story and perception is actually a fascinating one to go back and watch and analyze. Back as a child, I was pretty much homeless. By the age of seven, I was out of a house and just stayed in the back of a soup kitchen and then going to the trash can to get the food. Yao Man knew Dreams' background and situation of growing up in and out of homelessness and not having a car. Yao Man picked Dreams at the challenge knowing his socioeconomic background and realizing that he would be the most tempted by the car deal and it could be used against him. Seeing the situation play out now, it's hard not to feel sympathy for Dreams and think that what Yao Man did was slightly problematic. My first priority is not let anybody know that I got the immunity idol. Then I have a uh, really evil thought. Also, according to interviews of the players still left in the game at that point, before the challenge started, Everyone had already agreed to give Dreams a car, regardless of the result of the challenge. They all knew how much the car would mean to him, and it had put the game aside for him in that moment. While we never saw what the other players would have done in that situation had they won, it's possible that they would have given Dreams a car without any added terms and conditions, like Yao Man did. Yao Man was seemingly the only other player who had decided to turn the car offer into a strategic move. I want to see if I make a deal with the car. You're gonna negotiate I'm with the car. I'm gonna negotiate with you. 
Okay. Yao Man even explains his strategy in Exile Island afterwards. And it's very obvious that he didn't just do the car deal with dreams out of the goodness of his heart, like the show implies. By giving away the truck, it's the best way to get rid of my biggest competitor, and I have pretty much guaranteed myself a free pass at the final four. We see Yao Man realizing that he basically has guaranteed that dreams can't win the game if he wins that immunity. Which is likely because Dreams is one of the strongest challenge competitors in the game. My worry has been always when I get to the final four, Dreams will probably be there. And I need a way to get rid of Dreams. If Dreams gives up immunity at final four, Yao Men will vote him out. If Dreams keeps immunity, as he does, he basically looks so bad in front of the jury, but there's no way he will win. With the deal that Yao Man set up, he was actually trying to accomplish getting rid of me without literally saying, let's get rid of Dreams, because he knows that me, Earl, and Cassandra are going to stick together and make it to the top three. So Dreams, who has spent his life homeless and trying to get a better life for his family, jumps at the opportunity to get a car. Now I get that Dreams should have put some more thought into this decision, but I think the situation goes beyond the game. His personal battles are used against him here to further Yao Man's chances of getting to the end. I hope you live up to your words, but you know, whatever you do, you have to live with it. Strategically, it's a great move by Yao Man, but it really doesn't sit comfortably with me to see what happened and the fallout. I also don't think it serves the situation justice to ignore that race very likely was a factor in how people reacted. Dreams! I want to know how many zeros there are in a million. Similarly to Clarence in Africa, where he ate more beans than he should have, the rest of the tribe berated him way past the point of it being a rational reaction to what happened. You made a bad call in the army, you'd be kicked out of there so Hell, fast. Hell, they'd shoot you! They'd shoot you! You'd be code red I'd shoot ass, you! Man, there were, there were only, there were only three... In Africa, as well as in Fiji, the language used by the other players was quite likely coded based on race. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a liar by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Not really. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. These microaggressions should be acknowledged as we move forward and look back on the history of survival. As it has been announced that there will be more people of color in future seasons, hopefully these reactions and attitudes will become less common and accepted. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on the Dreams and Yao Man deal. Do you think Dreams have put in an unfair situation? Do you think Dreams made a bad move? If anybody can help me get a car, please give me one if y'all win. I hope we get some interesting discussions and perspectives on here that are polite and respectful of different opinions. I also want to remind everyone that I post compilation videos on my Ego Turtle channel and commentary videos on my Ego Tortoise channel. So please check them out if you're interested and have a great day. You know, the truck is beautiful.